In this video I'm going to uh, do some troubleshooting on getting an external hard drive or a USB or flash or SD card to be bootable. Um, a lot of the guides uh, on the internet um, make it seem pretty simple, but there is one place you can get stuck, um, especially if you're uh, reading the same copied and pasted instructions that I was reading all over the place. Um, first steps first, you need a um, primary active partition to boot off of. Um, right here I've got an 8 gigabyte SD card um, that I want to make bootable. Um, so if it's not, not already formatted, um, you can simply uh, format it and then go on to the next step. Um, if it's a, a brand new drive or if it's formatted in uh, FAT32 or if it's an FD NTFS and you want it to be FAT32, um, you can do it with the disk part utility. Um, I'll go into that later. Um, so here I've got a new drive that I'm setting up to be my new hard drive. I've got system, storage, uh, backtrack, and my recovery partition. Um, so once you've created a primary and active partition, um, the next thing you need to do is copy your boot sect files over. Um, and this is where it gets uh, kind of confusing. A lot of the videos show you just uh, making a new primary partition, setting it to active, copying your Windows 7 ISO files over to that and it should be bootable. That's actually not quite accurate. You need to make that drive bootable by copying your bootsec files over to it. Um, don't make the mistake that I made and I, I had copied my files over and I was reading uh, various guides on the internet and they show you um, to use uh, bootsec to make it bootable and what they're doing here is they're showing you selecting X uh, selecting the boot directory, running bootsec from the X drive onto itself um, to copy the bootsec files over. That's not right, and you're probably going to get an error message like this. It'll say, updated NTFS file system boot code. The update may be unreliable since the volume cannot be locked during the update. Access is denied. If you get that message, you're probably running the bootsec file is off of the target drive and not off of your mounted ISO. So that's the, the, the key here. You want to uh, do your bootsec before you copy any files and you want to do it off of your mounted ISO image. So this is my Windows 7 ISO. I've got it mounted with uh, alcohol soft. You can use daemon tools or whatever. And you see a boot folder here with bootsec in it. That's the one we want to run, not the files off your copied drive here. So as soon as you've got your drive mounted and formatted and set it to active, you're going to open up a command prompt and you're going to type in um, the drive of your CD drive. So in this case we got H. We're going to draw H colon. Then you're going to go CD boot to enter the boot directory. And then you're going to type boot sect forward slash NT60 space, and then the destination drive. So in this case, I would type uh, J. So I would type uh, boot sect forward slash NT60 space, and then J colon. That'll make this new SD card over here, this new blank SD card, it'll make it bootable with the boot sect files. And now you see successfully updated NTFS file system boot code. That's what you want to see right there. If you see anything else, if you see access denied, you might not be running as administrator. You want to right click on command under accessories and do run as administrator. Or when you type in uh, CMD down here, you want to hold control shift and enter when you press it down. Um, and that'll run as administrator. But uh, anything other than uh, successfully updated NTFS file system boot code, and it's not going to work. Um, so once that's done, now all you have to do is uh, open up your computer here. Go to your newly formatted and boot sec uh, drive. And then you're going to copy all the files off your mounted Windows 7 ISO image over to the new drive. 
And now you have a primary active boot sect bootable SD card or USB flash drive. Same would be true with a, a new hard drive partition. Uh, partition. You do the same process. Now, if you're working with a external USB flash drive and you want to get a little bit more advanced on uh, the formatting uh, situation, um, you can do the actual formatting and setup in disk part. What you're going to do is open up your command prompt as administrator, type in disk part. It'll open up the disk part command prompt application. You're going to type in this disk. That'll list all the disks in your system. You're going to find the disk that you want to uh, modify. In my case, I'm going to modify disk 3. It's the 8 gigabyte uh, SD card. So I'm going to do select disk 3. It says disk 3 is now selected disk. I'm going to type clean. That wipes out all, all partition information on the disk. That will wipe out the disk. So don't do that on a good hard drive. Um, then we're going to create partition primary. That'll create uh, one single primary partition on the disk. Then we're going to type select partition one. That'll select the primary partition on the disk. Um, then we're going to type active. That sets that partition to be an active partition. Now we're going to do a quick format. We're going to format space fs equals ntfs space quick. That'll quick format um, the primary partition one on that drive. Um, quickly. If you want to do it with a uh, FAT32, you just type in uh, FAT32 there instead of NTFS. Um, but beware that uh, FAT32 drives cannot uh, hold files over 4 gigabytes. Um, so if you've got a big, huge Windows 7 ISO image and it's got a big WIM file in it, it's not going to work. So that's why I'm using NTFS. If you want a bootable disk that'll work in almost any operating system, uh, by all means select FAT32 there. Uh, it'll format it, and then you're going to type assign. That'll assign it a drive letter, and you're going to type exit. That is the, the command prompt way to make a primary partition um, on your USB drive. Um, and then from there, you do the boot sect process, and then you'd copy the files over. So that's it. If you're having trouble making your drive bootable, make sure you're not running boot sect um, off of the drive here. Um, what I was doing is I was following all, all the guides on the internet. I had copied my files over already. Um, I was using this guide here. Uh, select your target <laughs> target drive. Go to the boot directory, type boot sect NT60 target drive. Um, a lot of situations they use X as the name of their the drive. Um, with X is actually more like just a variable. So you want a uh, mounted drive, select your boot directory, target drive. So this will be a different letter than this. Okay, that's it for today.